The first people to eat chocolate were the Aztecs. And actually, just think about that for a minute. There used to be a time when there was no chocolate. But the first people to eat chocolate were the Aztecs, and they didn't just sort of stuff bars of chocolate down themselves on the way home from school. They had this special drink that they made out of chocolate and chili, and they used to take it up to a mountain to drink it, to fill them with inspiration. And that's obviously, talking about chocolate, has worked for you because you've been really, really inspired. It's amazing poems and beautiful phrases that we've been reading this afternoon. Here at Divine, we've got phrases like fondant dreams and aroma of bliss and, oh, fantastic. And I think one of the things that chocolate and poetry have in common is that they do these lovely things to your mouth. They're just lovely things to have inside your mouth. It was a fantastic buzz today to come down and, and do a competition with Divine Chocolate and Christian Aid because my family loves Divine Chocolate. And what we do is on Sunday afternoon, we all have this sort of special moment late in the afternoon we all get together and sit on the couch and have a bar of divine together because divine isn't it's like aztec chocolate it's not chocolate that you just gobble up it's chocolate that's got a little bit of magic still in it which i think comes from the fact that it's fair traded because it's just not just about the money it's got that little bit of love in it as well and that little bit of magic and of course it's not just fair traded but it's sustainable because if we go on the way we're going on, the world won't be a safe place for chocolate. We've got to grow chocolate in a sustainable way, otherwise there will be no chocolate left. So what's great about Divine is that they're keeping the world safe for chocolate.